Yeah. Hi, I'm John from Vivaldi. Uh, today we're here to talk about tabs a little bit. 2021, of course, so we thought what better way than to put together a list of 21 fantastic tab features in Vivaldi. It's not limited to that, of course, but let's go. Vertical tabs. If you use a lot of tabs, it can get confusing. Before you know it, you aren't able to view the titles of your tabs, and that can get you into all sorts of trouble. We know that, and that's the reason we built into the browser the option to display your tabs vertically. In Vivaldi, you can display your tab bar on the top, bottom, left, or right. Just go to Settings, Tabs, Tab Bar Position, and take your pick. If you choose to display them on the left or right, they will display vertically. There are many advantages to that, obviously. One of them being that you'll be able to read the titles of your open tabs. For many of our users, tabs on the side are one of the most useful Vivaldi browser features. Tab Stacks. In Vivaldi, you can organize your many tabs by grouping them into what we call tab stacks. Basically, when you stack tabs, you get to keep them in one place and you get to manage them as a group and perform actions on that group. To group two tabs into a stack, you just drag a tab over another tab until it becomes darker and then you let go of that click and drop it in. If you want to group more than two tabs, select them on the tab bar using Control or Shift. Uh, the Control key will select individual tabs like I'm doing here. The Shift key will select a range of tabs like this. Once you have selected the tabs you want to stack, right click and select new tab stack with selection from the context menu. To keep your tabs organized, you can rename your tab stacks. First, enable this option in settings. It's not enabled by default. Uh, then you right click on the tab stack and choose rename tab stack from the menu. Renaming can come in especially handy when you are browsing websites with similar content, for example, travel sites or shopping or social media sites. Check that tab stacking options are enabled in your settings. If you enable auto stacking, opened in the active tab will automatically be added to your tab stack. So you go to settings, tabs, new tab position and tick as tab stack with related tabs. Two level tab stacks. In Vivaldi, you can display the tabs in a stack on one level, the so-called compact view, or on two levels, which is brand new. The second level comes in handy if you want the stack tabs to display in full size so you can see the full title of the tabs. This second level also makes reorganizing stacks or creating new tabs within that stack vastly easier and gives you all the benefits of uh, normal size tabs like easier to read page titles, tab notifications, and if you enable them, tab thumbnails as well. In addition, you can lock the second level, which avoids changing the page view height when switching between tabs and makes it simpler to create new stacks from any single tab. Tab tiling. This is one of my favorites. In Vivaldi, you can view multiple sites next to each other by tiling tabs. The ability to tile tabs or create a split screen view of several websites is one of the most loved features of Vivaldi. There's a lot of ways to tile tabs and you can tile any number of tabs really to create these split screen views. Browsing several sites at once can come in extremely handy if, for instance, you need to keep all your reference material for a research project open uh, while you write in the, in the other tab. It also comes in useful if you view several videos at the same time or watching a lot of different feeds and streams. Just select the tabs you want to view and choose tile tabs from the context menu. You can pick between tile layouts via the status bar at the bottom right of the browser window. You can also resize the tiles to get each one to show what you need. When you tile your tabs, you won't have to switch tabs every few seconds and go back and forth. You can see them both at the same time, which is super handy. Rounded corners. Before we move on to some more hard-hitting stuff, I want to show you something really fun that you can do with your tabs, just to make it a little bit more personalized. Have you ever thought about this? Do you like the tabs looking more rounded around the edges or more angular? If you go to the settings, themes, and edit your theme, you can play around with the corner rounding in Vivaldi's UI. This little tool will round the corners of the entire UI, not just the tabs. For example, you'll notice that suddenly your tabs, the addresses, the search fields, the speed dials, all go very round. Play around with this tool and see what you like best. Tab bar background. Since we're talking about fun things to do with the appearance of your tabs, how about this? In Vivaldi, you can do a number of things with the tab bar background. You have the option to show your theme's accent color on the window or from the active tab. The settings for this are all in that themes edit area. You can also upload a custom window background image for the tab bar. You do this by going to settings, appearance, window background image, Active tab minimum width. 
In your settings under tabs, you can choose the width of the active tabs. This can help a lot. If you make your active tab very wide, you'll be able to see the title of that tab much better. In addition to seeing the title, a wider width will also help you locate the active tab. This comes in handy when you have a lot of tabs open. Using the Windows panel. No, it's not Windows, it's Window, isn't it? Yeah. The Window panel. I want to show you another simple way of managing multiple tabs. Let's say you want to get a tree style view of all of your open tabs, like this. All you need to do is open the window panel, click on this window icon in the side panel, and you'll have a tree style view of all of your open tabs on the side of your browser window. In the window panel, you can also drag tabs around to change their order. Just click on a tab you'd like to move, hold the left mouse button and move the tab to a new location in the list. Drop the tab and that's it, you've reordered the tabs. You can also create a tab stack from, from the window panel with an easy drag and drop. Click a tab that you'd like to stack, drag it over another tab you want to group it with, and release the click. That's it. In fact, you can even tile tab stacks in the window panel to view them side by side. Just right click the tab stack and select Tile from the drop down menu. If you want to hide the tab bar, the window panel is a good way to manage your tab. Quick commands. When it comes to switching between tabs, you're not limited to just clicking on tabs. There are multiple ways of navigating around. I want to show you one of my favorites, Quick Commands. It's absolutely essential for many of our users. You can open Quick Commands using F2 on Windows and Linux, uh, or Command-E on a Mac. It will list all of the open tabs in the current window. If you have a large number of tabs, you might want to filter down that list to narrow down your search. You can do this by starting to type in Quick Commands the page title or the domain, perhaps, to filter that list. If you want to hide the tab bar, Quick Commands is a good way to go about managing your tabs. Saved Sessions If you're one of those people who end up with a zillion tabs no matter what you do, try naming and saving your tabs as a session. In Vivaldi, you can save a selection of open tabs, or all of them, as a named session and open that later with a single click. This means that you can research any topic, open as many tabs as you like, safe in the knowledge that you can save them as a session later and get back to those open tabs. For example, you might want to start stashing away uh, your research on places to visit once you can travel again. To create a session, use Control or Shift to make a selection and right click on those tabs you've selected. From the context menu, you select Save Selected Tabs as Session. You can also do this in Quick Commands. Just start typing Save Selected Tabs as Session and select the command from there. When you come back to your research later, you can open the set of session tabs with one click. Just click on File, Open Save Session, or start typing Open Saved Sessions in Quick Commands. Web Panels. In Vivaldi, we have a secret tab management tool we call Web Panels. This is a slide out sidebar that gives you extra space for your favorite websites and tools. By default, your panel has your bookmarks, downloads, notes, history, and the window panel. But the real joy comes from adding custom panels. You can add any website. To the sidebar. You're not restricted to a handful of built-in websites. You can put whatever you want there. If your favorite tabs and tools clutter your tab bar, place them in the web panel. Maybe you're using a translation tool all the time or a messenger app. You can add any of these as web panels to get quick access to them. If you haven't added web panels before, getting started is pretty easy. Any page can be added as a web panel. Just simply right-click anywhere on that page and select page to web panel from the context menu. Another way to do this is by clicking the plus icon in the sidebar and inputting the web address manually. The web panel uses the mobile view of websites by default, but some sites work better in their desktop version. You'll have to play around sometimes to find the best fit there. You can quickly switch between the desktop and mobile versions by using the context menu in the web panel. Ooh, John, that was great. Remember, it's 2021 and we have 21 Brilliant, incredibly useful features for you. Tab cycling. If you keep a lot of tabs open, navigating between them can become a little slow and you might be looking for ways to reduce your scrolling time. Enter Vivaldi's tab cycling. With tab cycling, you use the keyboard shortcut Control plus tab to cycle through your open tabs. Basically, to switch tabs, you won't need to click with your mouse on the tab bar. You can enable tab cycling in settings, tabs, tabs features, tab cycling. Here you should also decide the order in which tabs are cycled. Currently you can choose between cycle in recently used order 
and cycle in tab order. You can experiment to see which order works best for you. There's actually more to tab cycling. You can choose how to display your tabs in the tab cycler. They can appear as thumbnails, the horizontal cycler, or as a list of titles, the vertical cycler. We have two ways of displaying tabs in the cycler because we believe that some people work better choosing between images and others prefer looking through a text-based list. Tab thumbnails. Speaking of tab thumbnails, you may want to take a look at the tab thumbnails option under tab display. If you enable this option, you will see tab thumbnails for each tab in your tabs bar. This will make each tab easier to find. Double click on the line between the tab and address bar or drag down or up from the same line to show or hide the thumbnails. Try this out and see if it helps you keep on top of your tabs. Keyboard shortcuts. In Vivaldi, you have many preset keyboard shortcuts for tab related commands. For instance, to move and select individual tabs. You'll find these under settings keyboard tab. In addition, you can yourself set any amount of keyboard shortcuts. To add or edit shortcuts, go to Settings, Keyboard. To delete a keyboard shortcut, hover the mouse cursor over the shortcut and click the Clear Shortcut button to the right of the input field. To edit a shortcut, place the cursor in the input field and enter the preferred key sequence. To reset the default keyboard shortcut, hover over the shortcut and click on the Reload button to restore the default shortcut. And if you forget a shortcut, just go to the cheat sheet in settings to see all assigned shortcuts. That's brilliant. Under keyboard, we have all shortcuts under four sections, window, view, tab, and page. Mouse gestures. Mouse gestures let you speed up navigation and perform useful actions with quick movements of the mouse. You can edit existing gestures and add your own to match your browsing style. To enable gestures, go to Settings, Mouse and tick the Allow Gestures box. To view the default gestures, go to Settings, Mouse, Gesture Mapping. To perform your own gesture, click and hold the right mouse button or press and hold the Alt key. Move the pointer to perform an action. You can also perform gestures using other input devices such as trackpads or even touchpads. Six ways to open or close tabs. When you have many tabs open, you can save a lot of time finding your perfect way of opening and closing tabs. In Vivaldi, you are not short on options. <laughs> Let's take a look at the closing tabs. Number one, you can click the close button that appears when you hover your mouse pointer over the tab. Number two, you can right click on a tab and select close tab. Number three, you can go to the Vivaldi menu button, file, close tab. Number four, you can use a keyboard shortcut such as the preset Control plus W to close the active tab. Number five, you can perform the close tab mouse gesture, right click plus draw an L shape. Number six, you can double click on the tab, enable the option in settings, tabs, tab handling. Jump to the previous tab by clicking the current tab. You can also save a lot of time by using clever tricks like this one I want to show you now. In Vivaldi, you can jump to the previously opened tab with one click. Many people who use Vivaldi say this is a great way to save time. It just makes it so much easier to jump to what you were looking at before. To enable this option, go to Settings, Tabs, Tab Features, Tab Cycling, Minimize Active Tab. When you have it checked, clicking on the Active Tab will take you to the previously opened tab. Recover tabs. In Vivaldi, you can recover accidentally closed tabs and even windows with the click of a button. Spot the trash icon at the very end of your tab bar. Click on that and you'll see the last 100 closed tabs. It can be a lifesaver. Mute tab audio. No matter how many tabs you have open and what the web throws at you, in Vivaldi, you have the power to control which audio plays and which doesn't. Imagine you're browsing the web at home, work or in public space and trying to be quiet. But suddenly loud audio starts blasting from an open tab or to playing some video. In Vivaldi, it's easy to find which tab is making noise and turn it off quickly. Just look for a speaker icon which shows up when a tab is playing audio and click on it. 
If you want to see what other sound controls we've built into Vivaldi, go to the Settings, Tabs, Tabs Features and Tab Muting. The default option, Play All Audio, allows audio to play from all tabs at all times. However, this may not be ideal for every situation as it can lead to an avalanche of unwanted noise. Choose Play Only an Active Tab and you are already bringing some order in your browser space. How convenient is that? It ensures that background tabs with audio will stay muted. The third option, Prioritize Active Tab, is for situations when you're working in one tab but want to listen to music or a podcast in another tab. Background tabs with audio will play even if your Active Tab has no audio. Tab Notifications Tab notifications let you know which of your tabs have new content waiting for you. Notifications will display on both pinned and regular tabs. An overlay icon on the tab will notify you of emails or messages coming through social media websites. Very, very useful. To enable detect page tile notifications, go to Settings, Tabs, Tab Display. Hibernate tabs. This one is my favorite. Having hundreds of tabs open can be a drag on any machine. Save resources by hibernating tabs. As simple as that. Use tab hibernation to put a tab or group of tabs to sleep until you need it. Right click on the active tab and select the option hibernate background tabs. Uh, are we done? Are we? Please say we are. Do you feel like a tab master yet, Marcia? I really don't know. <laughs>